Hello there my RPG lovers to yet another Outward video. I pretty much got overwhelmed with all the things I yet have to cover with my Outward videos but I'm enjoying every second of making them for you guys because I do think that Outward is a really special and unique game that deserves much more attention. After some basic survival tips and melee combat guide that you can check out here if you didn't already, I decided to make a short video of how to craft this awesome light backpack that you saw me wearing in my last video. The backpack has 60 weight, a lantern holder and the ability to dodge normally which means you won't need to take it off during the fight. I got bunch of questions in the last video about this backpack so let's get right to it. Before I show you where you can get the recipe and how to get it, these are the materials you need to craft it. A primitive satchel and 3 scaled leather. Nothing too fancy, you can get those materials by yourself or buy them from some merchants. Getting those materials is actually the easier part. First I'll show you how to get the recipe for this backpack, then I'll show you the easiest way you can get those 3 leather pieces. The location of the merchant that sells this recipe is in Black Marsh and it's called Giant's Village. To make this guide easier for new players, I assumed you're gonna start from Cherzo in Chersonese, so I started from there. You can just skip the first part if your character is already in Black Marsh. The only extra thing that you'll need if you're traveling from Cherzo or any other zone are 3 food rations because you won't be able to pass through other zones without it. It's also recommendable to stack up the food, the drinks, potions and at least a bedroll. The easiest way to navigate the map from Cherzo to Black Marsh is by going to the east for the most part and following the main road. When you get close to Complex Mountain, keep it to your right and continue straight. At this point your compass should be set straight to east. You might run to some trouble but I recommend you to just run and avoid NPCs. When you get to Black Marsh from Chersonese, the path to Giant's Village lies on northeast and if you don't watch out it can be really dangerous. You should watch your stamina and not run all the time because if you get chased with no stamina you're going to die. If you're feeling lucky you can try and make the NPCs fight each other and by risking your life you could get the chance to get the loot that you'll need to make this backpack. This scaled beast can drop scaled letter, but it's not a 100% chance drop. If you don't feel like you can kill them, try and manipulate the surrounding NPCs to fight them. You can almost always find someone around to help you. But like I said before, you can buy scaled letter from some NPCs in main cities. Anyway, when you finally get to Giant's Village, you want to go straight to the blacksmith called Iron Sides. Apart from the recipe that will cost you 35 silver, this dude has some really good stuff you can also buy if you have the money. However, if you still lack the letter to make this awesome backpack, try and continue your journey to Monsoon and buy one from the green shirt merchant and also check all the other merchants. If you don't want to try and kill those scaled beasts yet, you can make the way to the main city of Enmarkar Forest and check the merchants in Berg. But I would recommend you to at least try and get the rest of the leather here by starting fights between NPCs. If only one lousy skeleton with a dagger can do it, so can you. I believe in you. Just don't curse me if you end up dying too much here. Anyway, when you finally get all the materials, go ahead and make this awesome backpack and never again should you drop it in a fight. 60 weight should be more than enough for a light backpack, not to mention that the fast dodge is precious. That will be all for this short guide, be sure to press the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel since I do plan a lot more guides for Routeworld. I have plans for videos about builds, different playstyles and similar short guides like this one which will hopefully help you with your time in Outward. I can't thank you enough for the amazing support for the last past month or so and special thanks to my patrons. If you also want to support this channel to grow further, you can find all the links in the description. And before I go, I just have to give a quick shout out to my friends who recently started their YouTube channel. They are playing bunch of different games together, so if you're into watching those kinds of videos, I'll leave the link to their channel in the description. See ya in the next one.